what's up guys um so i thought i'd show you today how to uh, verify your domain ownership if you uh, have already opened an account for uh, zoho.com i had a little bit of trouble with this before and um because I'm, I'm not something that does this thing every day so it took me a little bit of while so i thought i'd do a tutorial to share what i learned and how to do this quickly so you don't waste time uh so here we go uh when you sign up for zoho.com um for you, those that do not do not know, you can get a free uh, business email um, for your company. For example, mine is sales at provensocialmedia.com. Uh, so you don't have to open like a Gmail account and you look more professional and all that uh, good stuff for your clients and your potential clients. So uh, let's go. Let's do this. Um, the, the first thing you're going to be doing um, to verify your uh, so you're going to be able, you're going to be taking a few steps. OK, so the first thing you're going to be doing is you're going to add the MX records. Uh, so the information that you see here on this table, this is what you're going to add on your control panel. OK, so I'm going to be accessing my uh, control panel here through uh, Namecheap. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be scroll, scrolling down and I'm going to go over to MX records. Uh, MX entry, sorry. Um, you're gonna have something similar on your cPanel as well. So I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna be selecting my domain, provensocialmedia.com. And what I did, based on the instructions that I saw, because I'm not by any means an expert on this, uh, I picked the uh, remote mail exchanger, um, and then I did hit change. So what I did, I did here. I did the the first of all, the priority ten. And then you go over to the uh, table over here, you copy and paste, copy, and then you paste it here. And then you're going to be adding the record in here, and then it's going to show up down here. Obviously, I'm not going to be adding it because I already have the information uh, down below. Um, when you first access the MX entry, you're going to see by default uh, another information here. Delete that first of all, and then you add these three. So you need to delete whatever's in here first. And then you're going to add the three information that uh, Zoho provides you with. And then it's going to take somewhere between 15 minutes to two hours for all this information to propagate. So don't freak out if it doesn't work. You just need to give it a while uh, for all this information that you do, that you put in on your cPanel to activate. Okay. And then the next, what you need to do, so you've added the MX uh, records. What you need to do is um, you need to do the uh, CNAME method. And then you're going to add the, um, you're going to configure the uh, SPF and then the uh, DKIM. So I'm going to show you how to do these two next. Uh, okay, so one of the mes methods to, uh, the, one of the steps that you can do as well is uh, you can verify the uh, domain ownership through using the, the CNAME method, the text method, or the HTML. I'm going to be showing you how to add the CNAME method. So, uh, by the way, uh, everything you can go over to Zoho.com and the resources tab over here. You're going to find all these instructions. It's just it took me a while because, you know, it took me a while to uh, go through all this and, and read and ask around and look at the forums because I've never done this before. So I'm going to show you how to do this quickly and easily so you don't have to uh, waste your time. Um, OK, uh, so the you're going to when you open the account, when you sign up for Zoho.com, you're going to get your own information your own code and then you're going to get the uh, zmverify.zoho.com that you need to add to the uh, CNAME method. So this is how you do this. All right, let me go here. So you're going to go to the main page of your cPanel again. So you've added the MX records. Now you're going to go to uh, the CNAME method, the SPF and the DKIM. You're going to add them all in the same place. So you're going to go to add all, all three. You're going to go here to advanced zone editor. And then you're going to select your domain. And then you're going to, for the first one, you're going to do CNAME. So it's the CNAME method. And then you're going to be adding the uh, the code uh, in here. Uh, you're going to be adding the, uh, let me see, let me just show you down here. So it's this one over here, right? You're going to be adding the code given to you by zoho.com, your unique code, I believe. This is dot, um, dot your uh, domain and then dot com. And, um, I've seen a lot of people do this. I don't really know what this means. To be honest with you, I'm not an expert at this by any means. Uh, but I did 1,200. I was told by uh, Namecheap support to add this value, so this is what I did. And then, obviously, as you can see, the method is CNAME. And then 
uh, this code as well. So you're going to be doing this. The same information that you see here, you're going to get it from Zoho.com. You're going to be adding it uh, in here. And then you're going to be adding the, uh, the value here. All right. Obviously, I already have this in here. So that's why it says it's, it, it's already existing. And then you're going to be adding the, the, this code over here to the C name, and then you're going to be adding the record. Okay. It's very easy and straightforward again with the same thing. Let me do this. Uh, yeah. The SPF records. Uh, let me see here. Yeah. The SPF records again, you're all you're going to do is just, you're going to grab this code that you see on the instructions in here and then you're going to go through the same the exact same steps so i'm going to show you again you're going to go to advanced edit, advanced zone editor and then you're going to select your domain again this time it's not going to be the cname method the spf and the dkim are both all going to be the text method so you're going to select text you're going to uh, do the you're going to pick your name i believe uh, mine was let me see down here Yeah, so I picked the provensocialmedia.com, the, the name of the, uh, the records, and then I did paste, copy and paste uh, this, this uh, code that I got from uh, Zoho uh, help desk and help section. So I did the name here, like provensocialmedia.com, and then 1200, and then the value here, and you're going to add the record, and it's going to show up uh, down where it shows up in here for me. So this is the uh, SPF records. So you added the uh, CNAME method, and then you add, you add the uh, SPF. And now, lastly, you're going to be adding the uh, DKIM. This is a, a little bit trickier. This code, I believe, is unique, and you're going to have it show up on your uh, mail, Zoho mail. Uh, the way to access and to find that code is uh, over here. So you've signed up for Zoho mail, right? And then you're here on your mail tab. Uh, by the way, when you first sign up, everything, all the stuff that you need to take are going to show up in here as, as in, as a, uh, like an unread email, you're going to see them in here. So you're going to be like, it's going to tell you, you need to add your, uh, MX records. You're going to be, you need to configure your, uh, DKIM and the CNAME method and all that, all that stuff that I just went through. Uh, the way to find the DKIM, uh, that long code that you saw, you're going to go over to the control panel. And then here where it says the, see this little arrow where, where it says email authentication. You're going to uh, drop down menu, you're going to press that. And then you're going to go over to DKIM. When you press here, see where it says this, where you see this uh, green dot, you're not going to have that. It's going to be gray like this one in here. And then uh, this is what you're going to see, something like this. Okay. So it's going to say here unverified. Uh, so when you go here, you're going to see something like this, right? You're going to see the, uh, the code, your unique code over here. It's going to say here, you're going to see two buttons here. One of the buttons is verify. And this is going to be a blank like this. You're not going to see your uh, domain name in here. So you're going to type in your domain here, and then you're going to copy the entire code. And then you're going to go again to the uh, advanced zone editor. You're going to select your domain. And then you're going to add that, the same code, the code in here. This long code, you're going to add it to the name. Again, it's going to be text method. You're going to add it, this big code to the name. And then the value is going to be, again, 1200. And then this long code, you're going to copy, and you're going to paste it to the text data. And then you're going to be adding the record. And then it's going to show up like this. OK, so see the long name, 1200, the value, and then the code. Again, this is going to take a while to propagate, I believe. So you need to wait. You need to do all these methods and then wait. Go take a walk or something and play video games or whatever you do, whatever you're into. And then you're going to come back later and uh, your email is going to be working fine and you're not going to have any issues. Okay, let me see if I forgot anything. So we did what we did in this tutorial is do the, um, the add the MX records, what I show you firstly how to do. And then you're going to configure, you're going to add the SPF, 
the KIM and the uh, C name method you're gonna do. So we went through all of those. Um, um, I hope we re you really enjoyed this uh, tutorial and that uh, if you have any questions just post in the comments below or uh, if you have any other um, any other details or something that you need you you still you don't understand you can just shoot me an email and let me know and I'll be uh, happy to help um, if you want to stay tuned for more valuable information such as this one please subscribe to my channel and like this video as well and thank you very much for watching and take care